Hey everyone, Kaser, and welcome back to Harry Potter, Hogwarts Mystery. Well, we got a brand new chapter. I'm actually shocked that we do have a new chapter because last week we had a bit of a cliffhanger, and I really wanted to see what was going to happen next, but I thought, hey, we're going to have to wait a month or whatever, but lately we've been getting a lot more chapters, which is really, really great. So, we're going to move on to the next chapter, which will be chapter 8. I'd also recommend that you actually check out the chapter 7 first, because there's going to be some probably pretty big spoilers coming in this next chapter. You make the hardest task look easy. Now I have no idea, I'm just guessing, but based off of the cliffhanger of the previous chapter, something's got to go down. Return to Azkaban. Azkaban prisoner of Aruka Snide is about to answer your questions and raise some new ones, but the mystery of the cursed fountain demands your attention as well. My pen holds the key? Are all the curses meant to be broken? We're going to hopefully find out some of those. Hey, I'll take it. Maruka Snide. The last thing I saw before my world went dark. Try to focus on all that's good in your life now that a variation of conjunctivitis curse is broken. Are you suggesting that I be grateful for Ruka for breaking the curse she used to blind me? All I'm suggesting is that we stick to our interrogation plan. You said you wanted to take a sympathetic approach. I don't like it, but I'll do it. Good, because we can't bungle this, Jacob. It is our only opportunity to find out how Veruca Snyder was able to show up in Hogsmeade. It is our chance to learn how and why she broke the curse that blinded you. Oh, here we go. I was just telling Mr. Moody I have no interest in a visit. But Patricia Redpick sends her regards. Of course, you and Professor Redpick would have known each other through R. We share even more common ground. We are both here because of you. You are both here because you deserve it. Rickpick killed my best friend. She's lucky to be in Azkaban. I left her in a curse vault to relive her worst memories forever. She's quite twisted because of it, and you think we're the evil ones. I imagine you're both pleased to see me in captivity, especially you, Jacob, to be able to see anything. All Casey and I have for you are some questions, Rukov, and our sympathy. Stuck in Azkaban for always. Which is clever as you? It's unfortunate, really. How unfortunate for you that your satisfaction is wholly dependent upon my cooperation. Get on with it. Maybe she didn't do it. Maybe it was somebody else. This is one of these times where these 8-hour quests definitely comes in handy because we have to integrate her as long as we can. Because we only have one shot at that, remember? So, you were confirmed that you were definitely in Hogsmeade, somehow. And only you could have restored Jacob's sight. We failed because of the missing green it was you. Correct. For you to think any of you could have reversed that curse without me is quite frankly insulting. But, you won't tell us how and why you did it. Finish the story, Veruca. You've got nothing left to lose. I've got nothing left to lose, but I've also got nothing to gain. There's still something left for you to lose, you wretched witch. Is that a threat? Is that how you and your brother conduct a proper investigation, KC? Support Jacob. Dismiss Jacob. Hey, we talked about sympathy. We talked about doing this cool. He's not being cool. I'll take it from here. Ignore Jacob. He didn't mean it. Of course I meant it. Alright, that's enough. Vruka's just messing with you now. Do not indulge her. Time to go. Mad I, we can't just leave Vruka in Azkaban now that she's confirmed she knows how to get out. 
Rubbish? My magic is powerful, but not that powerful. What did you say? You were asking the wrong questions. Stop asking how and ask who. You're saying you had help? Who was it? It is someone you know quite well, KZ. Now get out of my sight. I'm done talking. Let's go. We'll get to the bottom of this at the Ministry. I like how Jacob had that snarl at the very end. As if that's going to do anything. <laughs> Give me a moment to recover from Azkaban before we speak to Murphy. Yeah, I think you might need to kind of cool down a bit. But who would it be? That's the thing. Thanks for going with us to Azkaban, Mad-Eye. At least we got some answers from Veruca. You might have gotten more answers if Jacob hadn't let Veruca get to him. She was being so casual about everything. I couldn't take it anymore. I showed you this missing and keep going, but it was too late. The last bit she told you was interesting, though, that she had help from someone you know well. Well, let's think on it. Who do we know that would have helped Vruka appear in Ogsme to break the curse? I don't know. What's interesting is whoever helped Vruka would have been someone who wanted to help Jacob, right? Perhaps, if they knew what Vruka intended to do but we can't know that for certain. What do you think, Jacob? I'm glad to see you back. Uh, how did it go in Azkaban? Did Vruka give you answers? She didn't give as much on how or why, but she confirmed it was her and Hogsmeade. And we learned why our experimental remedies couldn't break the curse. She was a missing ingredient. Only Veruca could have broken Veruca's curse? And she left us with an interesting puzzle. She said someone I know well helped her pull this off. That's odd. Veruca was just messing with us at the end. Even Mad Eye said so. So, you don't care to find out if there's any truth to what she said about someone I know helping her? Right now, all I care to do is to put it to rest and take my girlfriend out to dinner. How ironic, because my boyfriend is supposed to be doing that cooking tonight. <laughs> Come on, Olivia. Let's help by, by getting some closure. Since when do you use the word closure? You must not really want a cook. At least we know why we couldn't break the curse ourselves. That has to be enough. I guess we'll see you later, Casey. I'm glad this is over. What a change in tone for Jacob just now. What do you make of it? It's odd, it's encouraging, it's Olivia. You mean the fact that he's happy now? Because that's that's encouraging, it's also Olivia. It's likely because Olivia showed up. That's when his mood shifted the most. The relationship is still new. What about you? You managed to keep it cool with Faruka. Where do you go from here? Right now? I have to go back to work. You know that's not what I meant, Casey. Thank you, Mad-Eye. For everything. But I've got a magical mess to clean up. The door is ready for you, so now we're going to be talking to Ben. Ben is the key, I guess, obviously, if he keeps showing up. But they said that in the actual description. Another dry landing. Alright, it's time for me to put my opposite wish theory to the test again. This time, I'll make a wish with the wizarding money and see if the opposite comes true. Okay, so let's see what this... Oh, hey, speak of... Speak of Ben. KC, I had a hunch I'd found you here. Actually, I'd like to talk to you about that someday. I noticed that being here was more than a coincidence, but couldn't say more. Well, my curiosity is trying to get the better of me. Oh, well, I... But right now, I'm here to tell you I took your advice on how to handle my stressful situation in Muscusa. How did it go? Let's know what happened at work after I took your advice. You got fired, didn't you?
It sounds like things have improved at work. The advice to practice self-care was helpful and relaxing. Unfortunately, the pressure is still mounting. Everyone looks to me to solve every problem. I'm so desperate I'm thinking of making a wish for fewer work responsibilities. What do you think? Go for it. Wish the opposite. Don't do it. Hmm. Even if I was able to say wish for the opposite, I can't tell him why. Don't do it, Ben. Making a wish won't solve your problems. You leave everything up to a wish and feel like you don't have any control over the situation. Thanks, Casey. I appreciate it. But at this point, I need all the help I can get. I wish a few work responsibilities. Right, I suppose that was a daft idea. What is it, Ben? What does it say? Dear Mr. Copper, as a gesture of appreciation for all your hard work at Makusa, we have hired an assistant to lighten your workload. We appreciate all you do and want you to be happy. What? So, wishing for the office of what you wanted actually worked. I'm sorry, Casey. I have to get back to work. Me too. I have to speak with my mentor about a mess I'm finally ready to clean up. Wait, did I miss something? Because I thought it was the opposite. He wished for fewer work stuff, but shouldn't that mean he would have gotten more? No, I don't know. I'm dumb as bricks. What do I know? But I'm happy that he actually has less to have to do. There he was, stranded on the African savanna, face to horned face with a testy rumpant. Uh. It mistook me for the poacher I was tracking down, and there was no convincing it otherwise. Hmm. There was no escape. The best I could hope for in that moment was that I would get good without exploding. KC! Hi Vega, I didn't mean to interrupt your story. Oh, well, that's alright. I always say the most important part of any good story is a compelling cliffhanger. To be continued, everyone, I need to speak with Agent KC. I have an update for you regarding the Chris Fountain case in Washington Square Park. Were you able to test with David the Fountain granting opposite wishes? Yes, I even had some help from a friend. Even though I tried to stop him, the test confirmed that the fountain grants opposite wishes. Now I just need to determine how to break the curse. For night would probably do the trick. Right, it's a general counter spell known to reverse curses. Hmm. However... Oh no, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Mm -hmm. There's more than one way to solve a problem. What do you mean? Listen up and I'll try to explain. I thought she was going to say, there's more than one way to skin a cat. And that got me thinking, how's there more than one way to skin a cat? Anyway. Let's move on to another, another eight hour quest. So three of the four quests so far have been eight hour quests. Boy, howdy. Even though you have finite at your fingertips, I always try to solve a problem without magic first. So, I don't need to use Finite? Different people believe there are different ways to close a cursed place's case. Alright, I've known you long enough to know when you start talking like this, there's an underlying message. Mm -hmm. You're a fast learner, Casey. You mentioned that I may not agree with you, but it is important to hear out your point of view. Are you saying it is important to get different perspectives? If this was Quidditch, you wouldn't have just snapped a snitch. Now that you have my perspective, who else's perspective would be the most beneficial to you? Callum? Flump? My flatmate? Do I really not have Callum to level 5? Interesting, I wonder what it's actually at, because most of them are pretty good. Flump seems to reveal in giving its own unique perspective. I'll talk with him. Uh -huh. Crescent is brimming with knowledge and experience. Though, it'll have to wait until tomorrow. 
He left the office grumbling something about dodging an order of Merlin. Alright, I kept these ROC agents in enough suspense. I should finish my irrumpent story. In the meantime, you should go home and get some rest. I wouldn't say home is exactly restful at the moment, but I'll try. Yep. So what is Flump at? Oh, sorry, Callum. What is Callum at? Oh, he's four. I just neglected the heck out of him, I guess. Interesting. Well, I'm going to have to definitely get that higher. Well, let's check in with Ruby and see how she's doing. Or, no, I'm sorry, not Ruby. Uh, Pepper Copperbottom. Hey, Casey. Hey. Huh. I hope her day was half as good as mine. It was quite long, actually. I'm looking forward to just relaxing. Huh. Don't worry, you don't have to say anything. I'll say enough for both of us. Uh -huh. I had the best day ever. Huh. I even made a friend. How do I just... I know who that is obviously going to be. You made a friend? Who? Here it comes. You just sit back and I'll tell you all about my new, maybe possibly, best friend. Somehow I just don't see her and Marula getting along. So, your new friend has attitude and confidence. She enjoys criticizing others, but she's also quite funny. Please tell me your friend is a named... Huh. Marula Snide! Marula is a terrible person. Marula is a good person. No comments. I could lie, but... I don't think it's going to make a difference. Marula? Ruby, Marula is a terrible person. Sure, she thinks the sun comes up just to hear her crow, but she's been really nice to me. He's capable of awful things. Wait, how do you know Marula? We went to Hogwarts together. Marula is cunning. If you show any cracks in your undercover persona, she'll see right through you. If you're going to be spending more time with her, you have to be an absolutely convincing pepper copper bottom. Well, we spend all day together and she didn't suspect a thing. In fact, we get along really well. Don't you trust me to handle Marula? I trust you. You can't handle Marula. Truthfully, I don't think she can. You can't handle Marula. It is only a matter of time before she finds out what's going on. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I thought we were getting along all right. But if you've been able to keep up your RC secret from her, I'm sure I can keep mine. I should probably rest now. I need to meet up with Flump tomorrow morning. I have to tell them about this Marula situation. If you expose your true identity, we'll all be in big trouble. I don't think that's to be a secret, but I wish you would trust me more. I also have to update him on my Cursed Places case. Next, I'll go meet Flump and close out this case. So my question is to everybody, do you trust Pepper Copper Autumn? I guess with everything that happened prior to, I still don't. Because I'm thinking that if she finds some kind of juicy detail that can help her get ahead, she may still go for it, even though she's not supposed to do anything with that stuff. This definitely puts a big wrinkle on everything, though, with everything going on. Although I am surprised to wonder why my character didn't say that Marula and I were together. Because we are. But I guess maybe we don't want to tell her that, because that would open up a whole can of worms, maybe? Oh, and also, what do you think of everything with Veruca and Azkaban and everything going on? Who is the person? The only person I can think of would be Peregrine, but that's the only thing I can think of. Because who else would it be off the top of my head? We have everybody still in our lives that were in that situation with us. With the exception of Rowan, sadly. So it would have to be Peregrine, wouldn't it? Hopefully, well, it won't be soon, but eventually. In Hogwarts Mystery. Bye-bye, everybody.